Oh my word, I'm using all my balls on Squirtle. Imagine if we find a Mew now and I've got no balls. I have them. That's not a problem, but you know what kind of balls I'm talking about. Yes! Frick yes! We captured it! Ah! Oh. That was amazing. This whole journey has been worthwhile. We just caught... It'll go back to the computer, apparently, uh, so I can pick it up later. Uh, it's like a collection service, you know, where you order something and then you go to the store to pick it up. So it's kind of like that. You you, uh, you order it. Look at this. Look how many Psyducks there are. Come on. We're definitely seeing a lot more Pokemon around. Um... this dude dying? Not anymore, he's not. Danny came to the rescue. And there was me, I was going to skip the footage, like I was going to just walk around for ages. I didn't need to. Something popped up there and then, which was the most exciting thing we've ever seen in this series. A squirrel, a wild squirrel. And boy was he tough to catch. Now apparently, that over there had another chest in it. And loads of people, like... Got a bit frustrated that I missed the other chest. To be honest, I bet the other chest has got nothing in it. I bet it's rubbish, like it's just got some bread in it. it bread, you know. Do you want a bread? Hell yeah, I want a bread. For some reason, there's no land Pokemon spawning like Mew. Um, but we're getting loads of Psyducks suddenly. Uh, which is slightly worrying because I don't want these. Although we did find a Squirtle, so... Unless they're just all underneath these trees. Oh, it's the damn Psyduck. I thought it thought it was another one then. Right, okay. So we want to get up there to try and... Uh, try and find this other chest so you guys can find out what's in it. Imagine if there was a Mew that popped out of the chest. He's like, oh, hey. Yeah, I'm, I'm rare. So I just hide in here. A Poliwhirl. I'm not interested in you, dude. You know, you go whirl around somewhere else, mate. I don't want you. Right, okay. I want, uh, things like, if we find a Bulbasaur, hell yeah, I'll have that. Um, is this another one? Or is it the same one? Bit dark in here. Oh. Right, okay. So apparently, there's a chest behind these levers. Ah, there is. With some iron. I came back here for some iron and rotten flesh. Well, that that was amazing. That was awesome. I'm trying to make it sound better than it actually was. I, I guess iron is quite important. Um, I, what's down here? Oh, right, okay. We want to try and find this damn mew, but I also want to try and find some gravel... I bet I've walked past tons of gravel. Um, it'd probably be worth... Oh, shiz. It was a freaking... I could have walked up that. Right, so we're looking for... So if we stay on top of the trees, we might see him down below. Can you see one? I'm trying, I'm trying to search here. I'm trying to search. Is that a goal back down there? Right, here we go. Let's do a dive bump. Ooh, shiz! Freaking nearly missed that. Right, okay. If we keep going this way, it's like an, it's like an adventure. Oh, look at all that iron. And that, there's some gravel. Shiz, yes. Right, if we get, if we get all this iron, because it's good to have iron, right? Uh, get rid of that string. We don't need bloody string. Who needs string? I can't even remember killing a spider, but we obviously... We might as well get this as well while we're here. Because we never know when we're going to make... Um, like, you can make a trading computer thing. Where you can trade with other players your Pokemon, which is quite cool. So, when I find out the formula for that, if anyone knows the formula for that, let me know. Because I've searched for a few wikis. Uh, someone sent me one and I bookmarked it because it, it had all the balls, but um, alright, here we go. We're looking for... Shiz! It's gravel there. 
Right. Right, okay. If I empty out my inventory a bit. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. We'll keep that. Because you never know when you want to bone something. Right, okay, there we go. Right. So we're looking for a piece of flint. There we go. We found one. Right, we're looking for another one. We found two. Brilliant. I don't want sand, thank you very much. I want gravel. I want flint. I want flint. And I only want flint. Here we go. Let's see if we can get at least four bits. Then we can have four flint and steels. We can cause a massive damn fire in this place. By the way, I must recommend not to set things on fire in real life. In real life, it is dangerous. In Minecraft, it is still dangerous to your character. But there's a chance that you'll survive. Like, you come back, don't you? You come... You come back... You don't necessarily die, so it's... There we go, we've got four. Right, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, they don't stack. For shears, I don't need the tripwire. Don't need the cobble. Right. Let's pop that in there. We've got... I'll keep some gravel in... Oh, instead of sta sand. There we go, right, okay. If we make our way back up, we'll go up this side this time. Here we go, guys. This is where it starts getting good. I can't believe we've got a Squirtle as well. I mean, if you guys know how rare it is to find a starting Pokemon like that, because he is one of the Pokemon that you start off with, let me know, because I've heard that it's pretty rare. We must have been here before. There's torches in there. What is this? We've gone round in circles. Oh, my God. Oh, my... It's another Nidorino, I think. Right, we need to find a big jungle part, like a, um, a jungle place that's quite large in size. Uh, this seems to be the edge of a jungle, so I don't think it will be worthwhile setting it on fire here. Um, oh, what the heck. Oh, shiz. Let's set some of it on fire. Now that we've got loads of flint, we can uh, we can go get be a bit more wild um, with how we... Oh, shiz. I don't want to get trapped in here. Can you imagine? It would be horrible. What a way to go. You just burn yourself to death in the jungle. Right, now if, if we do see a Mew being burnt to death, we try and catch it as quickly as possible. Um, because that's the last thing we want. Is the possibility... Look at that guy. Doesn't he look so scary? Like you just look at him and it hurts your eyes just looking at his thing. I'll tell you what, last night I was playing... What was I doing? What was I doing last night? I was editing and we also played a puzzle map. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it out. It's two for one. It's uh, it's quite a cool puzzle map actually. I have to say, it's not like other puzzle maps. Um, because it's got some epic puzzles in it that I've never seen before. Um, and the redstone in it and stuff is pretty pretty cool so i would highly recommend checking it out oh my god this, these chickens they're laying eggs okay here we go so even i oh, this is awesome i can be on fire and not actually die because we've got it in peaceful now what i can do because because i've got it in peaceful purely because um I didn't want monsters to keep spawning. Because I'd be in battle and then monsters and shears would like start attacking me. But I can turn them off in the server properties. So what I can do is have it in hard. But just turn them off. I can't believe we haven't found any other ground Pokemon. Other than that damn flower that keeps wandering about. That damn flower. What's that? Venomoth. We've got a Venom Pokemon. We've got like a Poison Pokemon. I don't think we need another one. Now I'm just wondering. I hope this fire eventually goes out. Like I want it to spread for a while. But I don't want it to continue forever. There's more chickens than there is Mews. This is terrible. There must be one in here somewhere. There just has to be. I, I really want to uh, find another cipher though, just to see what they look like. 
because I missed it and I didn't see it in edit either because I wasn't concentrating in the edit but I know you guys commented about it um, so I want to kind of see what it looks like up close um, oh here we go there we go right so this is pretty cool because apparently we can evolve um, what Pokemon was it someone said we can evolve one of the Pokemons that I've got it wasn't gloom was it here we go, there's another one here. These are quite tricky to find as well, so it's quite it's quite fun. It's quite fun to s spot them. Now, come on, we've got to find a Mew. We've made Flint and Steel. This is awesome, I can just walk straight through it without getting hurt. It really is like I'm the Flint and Steel master, you know? Like I'm so immune to setting myself on fire, I've become immune to it so used to setting myself on fire, not immune. Um, right, come on. Come on! Last piece. We are doing a good job here though. We are, we are making lots of space in the jungle. Which will increase... What the frick just walked past me then? I went like that and something... I swear something walked past me then. That was spooky. Right, we're back at that damn temple. It's like the Blair Witch Project where you're stuck in the woods and you keep walking around and you keep finding that damn house or whatever it is. If you haven't seen the Blair Witch Project, don't watch it. it gave me damn nightmares the first time I saw it. The second time I saw it, it was okay. But it was a bit boring because I knew what was going to happen. Um, but, yeah, don't watch it. Um, it's quite a terrifying film. Well, I thought it was. It gave me nightmares. I woke up in the night like... There was some, I swear there was something in the corner of my room, and I was like, ah, there's something, or oh, I didn't say, ah, there's something in the corner of my room, I just woke up, and I could, I swear I could see something in the corner of my room, now if you've seen the movie, you'll know why I thought there was, it's because at the end, well, somewhere near the end, in the movie, there's, there's this scene where there's this dude stood in the corner of the room, you know, who would have guessed? Why, why Why? were you dreaming of so something in the corner of the room? Maybe because in the movie there was a guy in the corner of the room. That's why. Come on, there must be a Mew around here somewhere. This is unbelievable. Like, for shiz, just make po Pokemon spawn more. Okay, what I'm going to do is, because this video has gone on for quite a long time, I'm going to continue... Wandering round until I find one. Now, I don't care how long it takes, I'm going to do it. Okay, because this is ridiculous. We can't... So far, all we've seen is some flowers wandering around like they're... Like they're just going shopping or something in the woods. Um, oh, what's this over here? And, and loads of chickens. I mean, for, I've never seen a chicken in the jungle. Like, I just haven't. Like in a real jungle, do you see? Do you honestly think chickens live in a real jungle? No. Look, d another damn flower. Chickens do not live in the jungle. Spiders, venomous snakes, all that shiz do. You know, this is so unrealistic. Oh, it's just water. I thought it might have been a mute. Right, okay. Join me in a split second when I will find one. Hopefully. Okay, guys. Hi. I know I said I was going to search for Mew, but instead I found something else. Now, I found some Wild Eevee. Wild Eevee. Um, so, now these are starter Pokemon as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and capture one of these. Um, I can't believe it. We're searching for damn Mew. And we're finding... Let's try using a regular Pokeball again. We're finding a Squirtle and an Eevee, which are starter Pokemon, which I think are rare or quite rare. So I found those, but I haven't found a Mew, which is ridiculous. Um, let's try using a Great Ball because we've got four of those. Hopefully a Great Ball will work. Um, we haven't got it damaged that much, but it is only level 12. I don't think my Pidgey can attack it again. That's the problem. 
Unless I use... Oh, Gust will damage it. Oh, it missed. That's okay. Alright, let's try using a, another Great Ball. I want to really try and catch this. Um, because Andre's got one, and he made it into... Did he make it into a Leaf one, or... Let's just use Whirlwind. It'll probably kill it. What did Whirlwind do? Ah oh, man, I don't want to use I don't want to use all my balls. Let's keep using Pokeballs because we've got loads of those. I don't want to use all my balls and then come up against Mew and be like, "Shiz, I've got no balls." That would be bad. That would be terrible. Now, if you still enjoy, if you've reached this far in the episode, a huge thank you. Um, is there any other Pokemon? My Pokemon are all too high. This is the problem. Let's bring out Nida Rhino. He d he does like hardly any damage. Poison Sting. That won't do much damage. Eevee has been poisoned. Okay. Now his damage, his health will go down. Let's use Leer on it. He'll keep... Frick. There was another one though. Where's the other one? There was another one. There was a few of them around here. I saw Frick. There he is. Little pecker. There we go. Right, okay. Let's use Quick Attack on... In fact, let's use Tackle. Right, okay. Bag, Bulls, Pokeball. We've got nine of these bad boys. It should be fine. Come on. Damn it! This guy just won't go away. Gloom. Let's, le let's try Gloom. Right. Gloom is level 22, though. Uh, sleep. Perfect. Let's send it to sleep. Yes. Because I think they're easier to catch when they're asleep. Or has it just woken up? Because it's wandering around. I can see it walking. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. That was so close. It was going on for ages. Let's try it again. This is the problem with having really high Pokemon. When you want to catch a low level one like this, which, you know, there are a lot of low level ones. Ah, oh, he just woke up, I think. So let's, let's stun him. Eevee is paralyzed. Perfect. Okay, let's try absorbing him. Hopefully this won't do too much damage. That didn't do much damage at all. Let's absorb him again. It missed. Let's try again. Keep missing. This damn these EVs. They're tricky. Sleep powder. Here we go. I can't. What? For shiz. Frick. Are you kidding me? I tried my best. I can't use all my balls. Look. It it was either I use all my balls on a freaking EV or I or I save some for a Mew. I mean. The last thing I want to frickin' do is come up against the Mew and have no balls. Is that another Eevee? That's a Growth. I don't want one of them. Ah, uh, who cares? I don't care. There'll be loads more of those things. We'll find them. To be honest, Andre's got one anyway, and I'd rather have the Squirtle than that. Um... I like Squirtle. It is Squirtles. The Squirt Squirtle is cute. You know, he is cute. Right, back to me trying to find Mew. Okay, guys. I have just been flying around because I was walking and I could not find anything. Like, I even when I was flying, I was flying, like, over jungle for about five minutes and I did not see one Pokemon. But, if you are seeing what I am seeing right now, we have finally found one. A wild Mew, level 50. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and catch it, but not in this episode, in the next episode. So, join me next time when I will be trying to catch Mew. 
Will I manage to do it or not? You'll have to watch next time.